Hello, today we're gonna to show you how to properly take your measurements for a wig fitting. Now, if you don't already know what your wig size is, please take these three measurements before you select your wig because if you choose a wig that's not fitted correctly for you, it can actually lead to more problems down the road. It won't fit comfortably. You can even damage some of the base materials. So follow along for these three easy ways on how to take your wig measurements. So to take your wig measurements, all you're gonna need is a measuring tape, also a pen and a paper to note down what those measurements are. And let's go ahead and take these for Jamie and find out what her wig size is. So the first measurement we're gonna go ahead and get is the circumference measurement. So circumference is gonna be your hairline around the perimeter of your head here. So starting in the back hairline area using the inches side, we're gonna wrap it all the way around Jamie and find out what that circumference is. Leave it behind the ear. And Jamie's measurement is actually 23 inches for her circumference, so 23 inches there. The next measurement we're gonna take is the ear-to-ear -ear measurement. So really important thing to know about ear-to-ear -ear is you wanna start from the front hairline, seven inches back first, and then establish what that distance is from the ear-to-ear. So measuring tape again at the front hairline here. We're gonna go seven inches back. I'm gonna have Jamie turn her head so you can see how far seven inches back is. Okay, so we're right over here. Take your measuring tape, move it horizontally. Go ahead and turn again. And now we'll establish the ear to ear. And for Jamie, she is 13 and a half inches from ear to ear. Just to show you visually where that measuring tape is ending, it's right at the top corner right where that ear starts on both sides there. The last measurement you're gonna to wanna to take is the front to back measurement. Very straightforward, you're gonna go front hairline down the center of the head, all the way to the back area here. And now with Jamie's back measurements, she is actually 13 and three quarters of an inch for her front to back measurement. Now, if you do not have any hair or maybe your front hairline has receded far back and you're not sure where that front hairline is supposed to be at, this is a great tip to establish that area. So Jamie's gonna show you how we would recommend to do so. So you'd actually take your hand, take your flat palm, put it right at the top of your head, keeping your fingers pointed outwards, and then take your other hand at the point of your nose, nice and flat at the point of your nose, and where your fingers connect, where those two planes connect at, like you see here, down at a 45 degree angle is where your front hairline is typically gonna wanna live. So if you're not sure where your front hairline is, try this tip out and this is where your front hairline measurements should begin. Now for your back nape hairline area, it's not necessarily always where that bottom hairline is. Now there's a special spot in the back of your neck where your wig is going to want to live and where you're going to want those measurements to take place. I'm going to have Jamie go ahead and turn her head here so we can show you. What you're going to want to do is take your fingers in the back of your head here and I'm going to have Jamie just go ahead and look up. Now when she looks up, my finger lives right in between her neck and that back occipital bone here. This is where your measurements should take place when you're establishing that bottom hairline. So right over here, that's where your wig is gonna wanna live. So it doesn't necessarily always cover those bottom hairs down here, but just know when you do wear a wig and throughout your movement throughout the day, your wig will live in this little groove here. So make sure you are taking your measurements from this place. So on your screen now, you see our Ellen Villa sizing chart. So let's break down how to read where your measurements land and what wig size is gonna be best for you. So taking Jamie's measurements, for example, her circumference was 23 inches. So that's gonna fall in the large category. Her ear to ear measurements were 13 and a half inches. So you can see that lands in the average large category. And her front to back measurements were 13 and three quarters of an inch. So you can see on this here, she's actually landing a little bit all over the board here with her front to back ending up in the petite average size. So this is very common. If you find that your measurements are scattered throughout multiple categories here, always go with the largest measurement when you are selecting a wig size. So for Jamie's example, we're gonna wanna go with the largest measurement, which was the circumference in the large category. So when Jamie goes to select a wig, she's gonna to wanna to find a wig that is large or a cap that offers a lot of stretch in the average large category. And that's how you're gonna to wanna to read the Ellen Villa sizing chart and determine what wig size is gonna be the best fit for you.